Hi there, I'm Dr. Scott, the paleontologist. We're going to help birds find their ideal habitats. A habitat is the place where a bird lives. Click on the bird call to attract a bird. <laughs> Here's a tiny elf owl. She's nocturnal, which means she's most active at nighttime. Her favorite place to build a nest is in the saguaro cactus. Where could she find a cactus? Here's a tiny elf owl. She's knocked. That bird seems very happy there. <coughs> Click on the bird call to attract a bird. <coughs> a Wilson snipe. This bird loves wet, grassy areas. Look at that long bill. The snipe uses it to poke deep into the mud to find food. Where would this snipe find mud to poke around in? Fresh water. That's right. <coughs> Click on the bird call to attract a bird. <coughs> this herring gull is sometimes called a seagull. The herring gull can actually drink salty ocean water. It excretes the salt through special glands located over its eyes. Where do you think the herring gull should go? That's right. <coughs> Click on the bird call to attract a bird. The black oyster catcher uses its large, brightly colored bill to feed on shelled creatures like oysters and clams. Where could this bird find some oysters and clams to snack on? Rocky Sea Coast. That bird seems very happy there. <coughs> you did a great job helping each bird find its habitat. They look very happy. Remember, many of these birds can be found right in your own backyard. So get out into nature and make your own discoveries. Click here to play again. Hi there. I'm Dr. Scott, the paleontologist. We're going to help birds find their ideal habitats. A habitat is the place where a bird lives. Click on the bird call to attract a bird. <coughs> the bald eagle is a spectacular bird. It almost went extinct, but thanks to recent preservation efforts, the bald eagle is making a comeback. This bird likes to build its nest in big, huge, tall trees. Which habitat would the bald eagle like? That's right. <coughs> Click on the bird call to attract a bird. Look, a turkey vulture. They like to fly in dry, wide open spaces searching for dead animals to feed on. Which habitat is dry and open? Desert. That bird seems very happy there. <coughs> Click on the bird call to attract a bird. <coughs> the American robin can be found in many places, including your front lawn. Robins forage on the ground but they love to nest in trees. Where can the robin find lots of trees to nest in? Great thinking! <coughs> Click on the bird call to attract a bird. <coughs> a Wilson snipe. This bird loves wet, grassy areas. Look at that long bill. The snipe uses it to poke deep into the mud to find food. Where would this snipe find mud to poke around in? Freshwater mud. Way to go! <coughs> you did a great job helping each bird find its habitat. They look very happy. Remember, many of these birds can be found right in your own backyard. So get out into nature and make your own discoveries. Click here Hi there, to I'm play Dr. Again. Scott, the paleontologist. We're going to help birds find their ideal habitats. A habitat is the place where a bird lives. Click on the bird call to attract a bird. <coughs> a 
A Wilson snipe. This bird loves wet, grassy areas. Look at that long bill. The snipe uses it to poke deep into the mud to find food. Where would this snipe find mud to poke around in? That bird seems very happy there. Click on the bird call to attract a bird. Now, here's a wood duck. Just look at that beautiful plumage. Plumage is another word for feathers. Wood ducks live in wet, swampy areas and like to build nests in rotted out tree trunks. Where would the duck feel at home? Great thinking! Click on the bird call to attract a bird. This purple sandpiper likes to forage in splashing waves and uses its long bill to pick food from between barnacles and under seaweed. Where would she feel at home? That's right! Click on the bird call to attract a bird. This is a common nighthawk. He likes to forage for insects in wet, open spaces. Where's a good place to find lots of insects? Fresh w That's right! You did a great job helping each bird find its habitat. They look very happy. Remember, many of these birds can be found right in your own backyard. So get out into nature and make your own discoveries.